All right, it's time to do another video of uh, Yugi openings. And today, as you can see in front of us, I have five packs of uh, legendary duelists. Now, this is a bit of a smaller set, as you can see by the pack. It is indeed five cards per pack. And if we have a look at the back, I believe it does say there's uh, 28 commons, 10 rares, 7 super rares, and 7 ultra rares. So, yeah, I think the kind of theme of this set is um, they're kind of, you know, the duelists that appeared in the anime and stuff, like Mako Tsunami, um, Joey, obviously, you know, some of the earlier ones, uh, which appeals to me a lot more, actually, because that's kind of the series I've seen the most, apart from Zexel. So, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, tear into this. Also, apologies, there's uh, quite a bit of rain going on in the background. Hopefully the camera hasn't picked that up too much. Now, I think it said there's no guarantee for any rarity in these, so we may get a pack without any rares, possibly? I don't know. But anyway, let's begin with Ririoku? Ririoku. Okay, interesting one. Next up, ooh, we have... Oxid Oxygeddon. <laughs> Oxygeddon, okay, interesting. Um, yeah, okay, quite a powerful level 4. Oh, okay, incredibly situational there. If it's destroyed by a pyro monster, each uh, player gets 800 life point damage. It's not really a plus in any way, to be honest. Uh, next up, we have Water Dragon. My god, he is a level 8. And for good reason, I suppose. Okay, interesting. I'm not really recognising any of these so far. Um, our fourth card is Leotar. Um, yeah, another one I don't... Wow, that's really cool, though. It's kind of like a... Well, it's a minotaur thing that's also a tigery lion kind of thing. I want to say lion, but he kind of looks like a tiger as well. Um, man, that's really cool, actually. And he is a level 4, and... Ooh, okay, we got a rare. Very nice. We have Cyberdark Claw. Ooh, very nice. That's a, uh... That's a claw for sure, and probably has quite an extensive effect. Okay, well... Uh, yeah, so far, not pulled anything amazing. Um, yeah, cards aren't quite as nostalgic as I anticipated, but... You know, it's uh, it's a small set, so I suppose that kind of means we're not going to come across many uh, things. But, you know, if I can pull, like, a super rare, that would be cool. An ultra rare would be amazing, but, you know. Ah, we have Oxygeddon again. Uh, ooh, we have Armoroid. Ah, no, I think I remember Armoroid from um, the original series, maybe? Or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Oh, we have Wonder Balloons. That's very nice. Uh, yeah, nice cute balloon things, I suppose. Uh, Monster Reincarnation. Yo, what does this do? Oh, okay, so you um, discard one card and then you um, bring back a monster, basically. So, um, Monster Reborn, but with a slightly bigger price. And our rare is Mix Mixeroid. Okay. So I think we got the Roid cards here then, because obviously we also got, um, not him, what's the other one? Aha, him, Armoroid, okay. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> he's kind of like a, uh, a cement mixer that is alive or something. In some hellish alternate universe to the Cars universe, which I think I mentioned the last Yu-Gi-Oh! video as well. I'm not obsessed with Cars, uh, I swear. It's just a coincidence. Okay. Let's open up pack three. Uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit as well, I think. E That's a lot better. So we have Leotar, uh, like the last pack. We have a legendary ocean. I imagine that works pretty well with um, Mako Tsunami's cards. We have Wonder Balloons, yet again. Ooh. We have the Golden Apples, that's nice. Oh wow, this is a really cool effect actually. So if you take life point damage, um, you basically um, get it back and then you can like summon a token and that token, his attack and defense, is equal to the amount of life points you lost. It's pretty cool. Oh, we've got Amazon S Call. Now that's cool because um, 
I pulled a couple Amazon S cards in um, circuit break, along with a really good card. So um, if you do get the chance, do check out my circuit break um, pack opening, which I did a few days ago. I definitely got some pretty good pulls there. Um, so yeah, right, okay, so we've had three rares so far. Can we end this video with a super rare or an ultra? Oh, yo, we've got Red Eyes Retro Dragon. That's really cool. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this now. My god, that's a massive effect. I'm not even going to bother reading it, but uh, that's kind of cool. It's a four star, which is interesting. Oh, yo, Legendary Fisherman. Okay. Okay, now this is a pretty good pack then. So we have a Red Eyes Legendary Fisherman. Red Eyes Fusion. Is this like a themed pack or something? Because, uh... It's pretty cool. Ooh! Yeah, it must be. The Legendary Fisherman 3. Okay, I wonder if, like, yeah, packs are slightly, like, themed then. And our rare is Cyberdark Claw. Ah, I believe we got that before. Okay, so the rare isn't, um... But yeah, surely this must, because, like, there's two Legendary Fishermen and there's two Red Eyes cards, kind of. Okay, well, that was definitely the highlight of it so far. Let's see if we can top it with the last one. Um, yeah, I think all I remember reading is that there's some Dewey-specific cards and Mako Tsunami-specific cards in this. So, I mean, hey, even if this last pack is not great, I pulled some pretty good cards there. Okay, we have Leotor again. Ooh, Red Eyes Fusion. Okay, maybe that wasn't... Maybe that was just a coincidentally... <gasps> Yo! Red Eyes Bee Dragon. Or Black Dragon, technically. Weird is not a hollow. Because uh, I believe I got the... Ho well, I had the Joey deck growing up, so... Uh... Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, then. Definitely worth it. Ooh. And it... Is the rare early? Okay, Region Kairushin. Ah, Kairushin. Now, I've got a figure of that, actually. Um, oh, okay. <gasps> Yo! Okay, it's like a super rare, I think. Uh, Red Eyes Fang with Chain. Okay, then. So, actually, this pack opening's worked out really well, because we've ended on a great pull. So, I think this might be an ultra rare, actually, because the text is gold, isn't it? Yo, okay then. Well, <laughs> that's been a pretty good pack opening, actually. Um, yeah, well, thank you very much for sticking around till the end. That was actually worth it. The first three packs are like, eh, they're okay. Last two packs were, um, as the kids are saying, fire. I don't think that's quite the word, but okay. But yeah, so um, thank you very much for watching. I do have one more video um, up coming up in the next few days. Um, and as always, I'll leave some links, playlists or whatever. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.